Hi friends, it's time for class. Welcome back to learning at the lake. So what letter do we start with now? Let's sing the alphabet song and find out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. What's this letter? U. Other kinds of bugs like to crawl under the ground. There's also something called a Ulysses butterfly. It has my favorite blue color, but I won't see a Ulysses at the lake. They're only found in Australia and other parts of the world. I might see a black and orange monarch butterfly. I wonder what lives under the ground. Maybe it's a mole or a vole or a gopher. Here's a mole's claws for digging underground. It's time for a review. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. We're on the letter U. What thing started with U? Hmm, that was kind of a tricky letter too. Do you remember the kind of butterfly that I said started with a U? It's kind of a big name. Ulysses. Let's say that together. Ulysses. Do you remember that gophers, moles, and voles all live somewhere? Do they live on top of the ground? or underground. That's right. Under starts with you. And then we had lots of unique rocks, unique trees. Great job on the review. What comes after you? Let's sing the alphabet and find out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U. What's this letter? V. And V is for violets or vines. Do you see the V shape in the tree? Lots of trees will have a V shape. Here are some pretty violet flowers. Ooh, they are purple and yellow like the Minnesota Vikings football team. It's time for a review. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. What things in nature start with V? What about those pretty purple flowers? Another name for the color purple is violet. Violet starts with V. It's a plant that grapes grow on. It's called a vine. Great job. What letter comes after V? Let's sing the alphabet and find out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V. What's this letter? W. W is for water and wet and weeds and worms. Hey friends, I'm walking down to the lake. Let's see what we can see. Webs. I see a dragonfly's pot in there. Weeds. Worms. Wiggle, wiggle, little worm. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. W is for wood. This wood is kind of warped and wet and has webs inside of it. I wonder what's living in there. It's time for a review. Tap, tap, tap. 
put on my thinking cap. What things in nature start with W? In the lake, the lake is filled with what? Water. That's right. And water is wet. Dandelions. Some people think they're flowers and some people think they are w -w weeds. The leaves are blowing back and forth. What can you tell is moving? The wind. Creepy crawly spider. He spins a w web. What lives down in the dirt? Likes to crawl around and you can use for fishing. You could put a worm on a hook and go fishing. Great job on your review. What letter comes after W? Let's sing the alphabet and find out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. What's this letter? X. For the letter X, I had to really think. There are not a lot of things that I could find that start with an X. But you can see lots of X's in nature. And a fox has an X in his name. What letter do you see? X. It's time for a review. Tap, tap, tap. Put on your thinky cap. Did we think of anything that started with the letter X in nature? Well, we thought of X-shaped branches and things in nature that have an X in their name, like a fox. But I couldn't find anything at the lake except for X-shaped branches. Maybe you can think of something. What letter comes after X? Let's sing the alphabet and find out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, What's this letter? Y. You can also find lots of Y-shaped branches in trees. See the mama and baby deer in the yard? Here's a beautiful yellow flower. It's time for a review. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. All right, we really have to think. What things in nature start with the letter Y? Around a house, some people have grass and they call it lawn or it's their y -y yard. That starts with Y. We saw some Y-shaped branches. We saw a color that starts with a Y on some of the flowers. Y -y Yellow, great job. Oh, we're almost done. What's the last letter of the alphabet? Let's sing it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and... What's this letter? Z. was thinking of a flower called a zinnia. Isn't that a pretty sounding flower name? Zinnia. Then there's also something that you'll find at the lake and it's called a zebra mussel. Do you mean that it's a zebra that's really strong? No, not that kind of mussel. Here's what a zebra mussel looks like. See the stripes? A zebra mussel is called an invasive species. Those are really big words. It just means it's not something we want here. It's not good for nature. It's not good for the environment and for the lake. It's time for a review. Our last review. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. What starts with a Z? 
Do you remember the type of flower I said started with a Z? Z, Z. Zinnia. And do you remember the other thing we talked about? Do you remember that striped animal that lives at the zoo? A black and white striped animal? Zebra, right. But what did I say was at the lake that starts with a Z and starts with zebra? Zebra mussels. Zebra mussels starts with a Z. And did it mean strong zebras? No. It meant something that we don't want in the lake. Great job, friends. That was amazing. You really put on your thinking caps and remembered lots of things in nature that start with every letter of the alphabet. I am so happy we got to have this time together. Keep looking around nature for all the things God has for us to see, to enjoy, and share with others. Hi friends, do you remember when we talked about a flower that has a Z name? Do you remember what it was called? A uh, zinnia. I have a book with zinnia in it. Zinnia's Flower Garden. This girl's name is Zinnia, just like the flower. Let's see what happens in this story by Monica Wellington. Spring has arrived. Zinnia is getting her garden ready for planting. She digs up the soil and turns it over with her shovel. She takes out stones and rakes the dirt smooth. The warm sun feels good as she works. Zinnia carefully plants many kinds of flower seeds in rows. She covers the seeds with dirt and pats it all down very gently. She sprinkles the ground with water. Zinnia waits for the seeds to sprout. The seeds need the sun to shine, the rain to fall, and many days to pass. It is hard to wait so long for her seeds to grow. It is hard to wait, isn't it, friends? Every day, Zinnia checks her garden to see if anything has happened. Look, the first seedling is poking its way up through the dirt. Do you see the seedling? Now, Zinnia's garden is full of green sprouts growing toward the sun. Little stems grow taller, Little leaves get bigger, little roots burrow deeper into the earth. I see she planted different kinds of flowers and it has their names on it. I see sunflower, zinnia, that's what a zinnia looks like. Pretty pink flower, cosmos and asters. Zinnia takes care of her garden every day. When the sun is hot and the soil is dry, she waters her thirsty plants. There she's watering her plants. She pulls up pesky weeds that try to crowd out her plants. She inspects them for greedy bugs. She measures how tall her strong and healthy plants are growing. Every day they get bigger and bigger, just like First thing in the morning, Zinnia runs out to check her garden. She's excited to see little buds growing on many of her plants. See the buds growing on her plants? There she is running to see them. And then at last, she finds what she has been waiting for, the first flower. One bud has bloomed. How beautiful and what a sweet smell. There are many more buds that will open soon. Here's that beautiful pink zinnia that she's holding. She's surrounded by so many beautiful flowers. She did a great job taking care of them. What kind of flowers would you plant in a garden if you could? That sounds great. I hope you do that. I know you could do a good job taking care of your flowers. Let's play a game. I have a bunch of bears in here, and I'm going to see how many I can make in that big red bucket. 
Help me count. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. missed that one. Hey, I missed that one. I got five in. Let's see if Mr. Bear can do a better job than I did. And Mr. Bear is going to throw them to me. I'm going to try to catch them. Here we go. Go ahead, Mr. Bear. One. Two. Three. I'm doing it, Lola. Four. She's cheering. Five. This was so fun going through God's alphabet with you. I hope you get to have some fun at a lake or a cabin or just outside at your house looking around for what you can find in nature. Thanks for helping. Bye. Say bye, Mr. Bear.